Hi, my name's Eric. I play bassoon for the Capital City Symphony. There's no need to be embarrassed if you are not sure what a bassoon is. Many reasonably intelligent people have no clue. But you'll probably recognize it as the grandfather from Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf. Or maybe you'll recognize it as the enchanted broom that helps Mickey Mouse carry water in Walt Disney's animated version of The Sorcerer's Apprentice. The bassoon is part of a family of instruments known as woodwinds that includes flutes, clarinets, and oboes. Typically, in an orchestra, the woodwinds all sit together. The bassoon provides the bass, that is to say the low notes, for the woodwind section. In addition to being a woodwind instrument, the bassoon is also part of a more exclusive club called the double reeds. The oboes and bassoons are the primary orchestral instruments that are double reed instruments, although there are some additional instruments such as the English horn and the contrabassoon that fall into that category. This is a bassoon reed. It's made by tying two pieces of wood together, hence the term double reed. Let me show you. Making reeds is a pain in the neck, but a good reed is crucial to a good performance. When blowing through a reed, the two blades vibrate, creating a sound more reminiscent of a Bronx cheer than a Mozart symphony. The body of the bassoon is a tube, 7 feet 9 inches in length, that doubles back on itself at about the halfway point. The curves and keyholes of the body transform the silly sound of the reed into the deep resonant sound of the bassoon. Double reed instruments have a long history stretching back to ancient times. What we would recognize today as a bassoon came into existence in the 17th century and has continued to be refined ever since. <laughs> 